knew that coming in here it would be hard and it definitely has been. Although it was the hardest thing I've ever done, felt horrible. It has been quite frustrating. Couldn't wait to leave and get out. Haven't been quite reaching um, the goals that I, I should be reaching. It's so special to me because it was the hardest thing I've done because it's made me who I am now. Hey, and all this personal growth has come from recruits and I would not be where I am without that experience. I wouldn't have the friendships that I've got or the experiences and the memories. My family history goes back to like World War One and Two with Grandpa serving and goes, goes a while back. <laughs> now nah, I was always Air Force, yeah. With the family background, it was couldn't have been anything else. From recruits, they teach you a lot about teamwork and communication, so I use that a lot in my job. It's always important to let your team know what's happening or what you're doing or important things that are coming up. Going in, I didn't realise how resilient I could be and coming out, I was very proud of how resilient I was. You get to an obstacle and they tell you, you have to do this and you're like, I can't do this but you just find yourself doing it and then you finish and you're like, oh, that's fine, I can do that. And that also put me in the mindset for future things since recruits, like, that's really hard, I don't think I can do that, I don't really think like that anymore. My mindset now is someone else is doing it, someone else has done it, I can do it. Like, it's possible, it's fine. It's stressful in there, but it's fine and it's so worth it and it's hard to see outside of that recruit bubble. It's definitely opened my eyes to the defence world and I don't see myself being anywhere else.